always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Well, since we had some spotty showers yesterday, we'll check out Storm Track Live radar, and they originated on the eastern side of the state. Only one lone shower out there, just an extreme eastern portion of lower Michigan, right around the thumb area and uh, kind of no man's land. Uh, I think we're going to stay drier today than compared to yesterday, even though yesterday we only had about a 30% uh, aerial coverage in some of those showers. Here's the latest on the visible satellite loop. You can see most of the clouds way to our northwest, kind of a streak of some high middle level clouds uh, rolling across southern Lake Michigan. And with the daytime heating, we'll start to see a little more fair weather clouds uh, develop, or at least showing up like we are in the thumb area on uh, this side of the state. Right now, those high mid-level clouds, what you saw on the visible satellite, this is what it looks like uh, with the view from Kalamazoo. It's just a beautiful sky out there, and it's going to be an ideal day. Once again, low humidity, light wind, and generally partly cloudy and mostly sunny conditions. Speaking of sunny, yeah, we'll take you a little bit further north to the Holland area. Not a cloud in sight in this view. And let's uh, roll it to Grand Rapids. You can see Grand River, calm conditions out there. Not that you see too many ripples on the Grand River, but nonetheless, traffic moving uh, smooth on US 131. Tom Hillen would like to see that. And we uh, head up to the north and look at this view. Two cruise ships actually up in Mackinac Island enjoying the beauty up there. Okay, let's uh, show temperatures. And this is kind of remarkable for this time of year, just how uh, comfortable it is across most of the United States. Usually, I shouldn't say usually, but a lot of times this time of year, you certainly can get sweltering heat encompassing a lot, large portion of the United States. Temperatures really throughout the Great Lakes, North Central Plains, and even in the East Coast, very comfortable. Uh, closer into home, you can see area-wide temperatures. It's about every location in the 70s, lone exception. Muskegon with that northeast wind, a little downsloping there. And the humidity level still kept in check, hovering right around the upper 50s to near 60 with that dew point. Point, and that's a comfortable range. Wind speed, it's light as well. Six miles an hour uh, the north, northeast in Grand Rapids, also Kalamazoo and Holland. This is what the future cast looks like, and you'll be able to see the high resolution forecast model essentially keeps a bulk of any shower activity and mostly in the southeastern quadrant of lower Michigan. I think we'll stay dry here, uh, just uh, basically partly cloudy conditions developing. We'll begin tomorrow with the barren model and a, kind of a repeat scenario. Afternoon heating, some fair weather clouds develop. I do expect more of a westerly component to the wind, so that's going to keep any rain chances down. And I think we'll see even more sunshine for tomorrow, especially if you're west of US 131. Here's that system we'll watch for the weekend. If you look closely, you can kind of see a counterclockwise swirl in some of that precipitation. That's the upper level low. That's going to give us our chance of rain, it looks like, beginning uh, mainly in the evening hours on Saturday. So much of Saturday is going to be dry. That's good news. And then Sunday, better chance of some showers and thunderstorms that will leak into the Sunday and Monday time frame of next now, week. I I got a little rain yesterday, but all I could see was sun, Matt. Yes. Yeah. Well, and you had a pretty rainbow, too. I had a pretty rainbow right off the, the neighbor's deck, yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, I saw your tweet. It was pretty cool. So check it out. <laughs> well, you described to me. I think the clouds might have been behind my building, and that's why I couldn't see them, and maybe the wind pushed it my way. Oh. So the Makes weather sense. phenomenon. Makes sense. <laughs> Thanks, Matt.